know what this is for. Thank goodness we have one of these. Whoa! Look at these! Shoes! I love to wear shoes, don't you? Christmas time, there's one thing that we are especially grateful for, and that's the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ. Today, I would like to spend some time with you singing songs about Jesus. Let's start off with our first song, The Miracle. This one talks about the life of Jesus Christ that he lived and all the miracles that he did. And I find no better way to start this singing time off than to sing the miracle with you, talking about all the things that Jesus did to show us his example and to show us his love for us. Let's sing together.
Good job, boys and girls. I love singing that song with you. This next song that we're going to sing is called He Sent His Son. The reason why I love this song at Christmas time is because it tells us that the way Heavenly Father could show us that He loved us was by sending His Son, Jesus Christ. It says in the song, how could the Father tell the world about tenderness? By sending His Son. Peace and holiness? By sending His Son, Jesus. How could He show us the pathway to go to return to Him? By sending Jesus. Good job, boys and girls. And um, He sent His Son to walk with men so that we could know how to follow Him. How could the Father tell the world of sacrifice and death? By sending His Son. This song talks about why Heavenly Father sent His Son. Let's sing it together. Long before Jesus Christ was born, boys and girls, prophets testified of Jesus' birth. One such prophet was Samuel the Lamanite. Let's see the story, how it's told in the scriptures. Let's take a look at what, it's, what the story says. Chapter 40, Samuel the Lamanite tells about Jesus Christ. The Lamanites obeyed God's commandments. They became more righteous than the Nephites. Samuel, a Lamanite prophet, went to Zarahemla to preach to the wicked Nephites. He told them to repent. The Nephites threw Samuel out of the city, and he started going back to his own land. But the Lord told Samuel to return to Zarahemla and tell the people the things that the Lord would put into his heart. The Nephites would not let Samuel back into the city, so he climbed to the top of the city wall and preached from there. He prophesied that the Nephites would be destroyed in 400 years unless the people repented and had faith in Jesus Christ. Samuel told the Nephites that Jesus Christ would be born in five years and that he would save all those who believed in him. Samuel told them about the signs of Jesus' birth a new star would appear, and the night before Jesus would be born, it would not get dark. Then Samuel told them the signs of Jesus' death. There would be three days of total darkness. The sun, moon, and stars would not shine. There would also be thunder and lightning and earthquakes. Mountains would crumble, and many cities would be destroyed. Some Nephites believed Samuel and repented of their sins. 
they went to find Nephi, a righteous Nephite, who could baptize them. The rest of the Nephites did not believe Samuel. They threw rocks and shot arrows at him, but the Lord protected him, and none of the rocks or arrows hit him. When the people saw he could not be hit, many more believed him and went to Nephi to be baptized. Nephi also taught the people about Jesus. He wanted them to believe in Jesus, repent, and be baptized. Most Nephites, however, did not believe Samuel. They tried to capture him. Samuel jumped down from the wall and ran to his own country. Samuel began teaching the Lamanites. He was never heard of again among the Nephites. There's a primary song in the primary book called Samuel Tells a Baby Jesus. Let's learn this song together. If you remember, Samuel the Lamanite was someone who got up on the city wall and he was telling about Jesus' birth and how he's going to come in five years and be born. And the people didn't like what he was saying and they wanted to kill him. And they shot arrows at him and threw stones at him, but they were not able to hurt him because Heavenly Father was on his side and wanted him to say this message to the people. So he was safe, but he said to the people that in five years, Jesus would be born. And they would know by a sign that was given where the nighttime would never turn dark, but it would be as if it were day. And so the night would be as day. And that's the way that they would know that Jesus was born in Bethlehem. So the song goes like this. Said Samuel, within five years, the night will be as day. And baby Jesus will be born in a land far, far away. And then we say, Hosanna, Hosanna, Oh, let us gladly sing how blessed that our Lord was born. Let earth receive her king. All right, let's try singing this song together. boys and girls. Let's try singing that one more time. This time I want to hear your voices a little bit better. Try singing hard. Learn what those words are. You're doing a great job. Chapter 5. Jesus Christ is Born The Roman Emperor made a law that everyone must pay taxes. Joseph and Mary lived in Nazareth. They had to go 65 miles, 105 kilometers, to Bethlehem to pay their taxes. It was not easy for Mary to travel to Bethlehem. Her baby would soon be born. When Joseph and Mary arrived in Bethlehem, all the rooms were filled with people. Mary and Joseph had to stay in a stable. 
A stable is a place where animals are kept. There the baby was born. Mary wrapped him in cloth and laid him in a manger. Joseph and Mary named the baby Jesus. On the night Jesus was born, shepherds were taking care of their sheep in the fields near Bethlehem. An angel came to them. The shepherds were afraid. The angel told them not to be afraid. He had wonderful news. The Savior, Jesus Christ, was born in Bethlehem. They would find him lying in a manger. The shepherds went to Bethlehem, where they saw the baby Jesus. The shepherds were happy to see the Savior. They told other people about all they had heard and seen. As you read the story of Jesus and his birth in the scriptures, try to picture in your mind what it would have been like to be there. What would it have been like to be a shepherd in the fields watching over your flocks and then to have angels come down? What would it have been like to be a wise man who saw the star that told them that Jesus Christ had been born? What would it be like if you had been there by Jesus' side, looking at him down in the manger where he lay? There's a song that's called Picture a Christmas. And I'd like to teach this song to you today. Let's learn it together today. Picture a stable in Judea. Picture a stable silent night. And can you hear the angels near and see the stars so bright? Picture the little baby Jesus. Think of his life. has two verses to it. I didn't realize it, but they're both very short and it's very easy to do the second part to the song because it's the same. So it goes, Mary, Mary, hush, see the child. Joseph, Joseph, look, see how mild. This is Jesus. This is our King. This is our Savior. His praises we sing. All God's children, all God's children come to adore, bringing gifts of love evermore. And then it's the same. 
This is Jesus. This is our King. This is our Savior. His praises we sing. Okay, the music will start and then give us an idea of how the music goes and then we'll start singing, all right? Here we go.